you've been under a rock the last few days, you have probably heard about the latest announcement from Apple about the new pair of iPhones, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. I'll tell you my thoughts on that. That's coming right up next. Low on vision, high on tech. Circle of the blind mice.com. <laughs> Family, your friendly neighborhood white mouse, Alexa Bible about technology. And yes, so Apple's long awaited iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are finally upon us. So there was 10 things, 10 new quote unquote new things that they announced with the new pair of iPhones. I'm not going to go through all of them in depth because there are a dozen, uh, you know, pro tech YouTubers that are have really good videos about that. But I'll just go over some of them that stick out in my mind and that I can remember <laughs> going off the top of my head. So there's going to be a brighter screen. There is going to be a um, removal of the headphone jack, which is probably the one of the most controversial changes with the new iPhone. There is going to be two uh, speakers, so it's going to have a stereo speakers. It is going to have a sort of new look. They got rid of those ugly antenna bands on the back, and uh, so that looks a bit nicer, although some people like it, some people don't, depends who you talk to. And they're going to have uh, two new colors, so in space gray is gone so they're gonna be gold rose gold or pink if you ask me <laughs> silver and then instead of space gray there is there is uh, black and jet black which is kind of like a glossy piano kind of black which Apple is already saying on their site is going to be prone to scratches and micro scratches and whatnot so basically use a case so um, Take that for what you will. I, I actually personally do like the jet black, uh, but I'm thinking, mm, well, if you're going to cover it up in the with a case anyway, is a really any point of having this nice glossy jet black. Then there is the fact that they finally, finally, finally got rid of the 16 freaking gigabyte model. It's about freaking time, Apple. And so now the base model starts at 32 gig, and then it goes to 128 gig. So gone is the 64, uh, 64 gig, and then there is a now a 250. 56 gig model. So even though I defected from Apple partially, I got rid, I ditched my iPhone four years ago. I had an iPhone 4, switched to the Galaxy Note 2, and then the Galaxy Note 4. But I still have an iPad. I have an iPad Air 2, which was my second iPad. I still have Apple TV. I have an iMac. So I'm not completely out of the Mac ecosystem. I haven't completely ditched Apple, even though I love Android. And if you've seen any of my past videos where I talk about iOS versus Android, you know, as an operating system in general, I do prefer Android, but I'm a bit torn about this new, these new iPhones. Well, let me first start by saying my first initial reaction when I heard about the iPhones was I wasn't that impressed because <laughs> I fell asleep during the keynote and I missed the part about the two speakers. So I completely missed that and all I heard was a slightly new design and a brighter screen and yeah, the 256 gig was awesome but the rest really wasn't enough to impress me. Oh, and how can I forget the camera on the iPhone, um, iPhone 7, it's going to have finally optical image uh, stabilization and in the iPhone 7 Plus it's going to continue to have the optical st image stabilization plus it's going to have two cameras so you can have like that a bouquet effect that you have with photos where you blur the background of your subject and it you know looks all fancy and whatnot. So yeah, so because I slept through part of Keynote originally, I totally missed the fact that there's going to be two speakers which is something I've been wanting in a phone for a long time. Once I realized that the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, well actually both of them rather, both the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus are going to have the two speakers, I'm like, hmm. Now I have no intention of ditching Android because there's certain things, but Android, I, like I said, I love the customizability. There's more flexibility. Actually, I like the note center or the, uh, pardon me, the notification center better than the iOS. So there's certain things I really love about Android. So I won't, it won't be ditching Android. I'm not going to go back on everything I've already said, but I'm really pausing for thought about whether or not to get an iPhone 7 plus. Part of me wants to just for the purpose of my channel because as you know, if you've seen some of my videos, I talk about iOS and Android because I still have a foot in the door in iOS as well. And I'm like, the geek in me really is tempted. Except I have uh, since discovered that actually it's two stereo speakers, but it's kind of with a twist. 
The top stereo speaker is facing forward. The bottom stereo speaker is facing outward or downwards, depending on how, which way you're, you're holding the phone, which is kind of weird. It's like, Apple, if you're going to have two stereo speakers, why don't you do it right and have both facing the user? Have it both facing out. I don't understand why they have one facing this way and one facing this way. It just does not make sense to me. So now I'm a little less excited than I was. First, I wasn't excited. Then I was totally excited. And now I'm like, hmm. I think I'm gonna wait and see. But I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's worth it? I did some price comparing and um, I don't have the US dollar quotes for you, but in Canadian dollars, the 256 gig model will cost you about 1300 bucks Canadian, probably about $900 US, I imagine. That's about the same price as a 256 gigabyte iPad Pro without cellular data on it. So it's like, okay, you could get an iPhone with a 5.5 inch screen. Sure, it's got cellular data, but it's only got a 5.5 inch screen for 1300 bucks, or you could fork out the same amount of money almost and get an iPad. So it's like, hmm. Now I wish I didn't upgrade my iPad last year because now I want an iPad Pro. Oh, so many, so much tech, not enough money. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth the upgrade? Are you gonna hold out for the 10th anniversary of the iPhone? I know a lot of people are expecting big things from Apple next year. I'm not so sure because I wasn't expecting a whole lot this year and I was pleasantly surprised once I realized all the specs and woke up and watched the footage while I was actually awake. Um, it's, I, it wasn't as boring as I expected it to be. Like they finally brought in all the storage that I was wanting them to get. They brought in a second speaker, albeit kind of facing an odd way. The rest of it is kind of cool. Like the brighter screen, screen, obviously that's good. If you've ever been trying to read your screen outside, you'll know that will be a good thing. I like the new colors. I think that's cool. What are your thoughts on the, on the uh, lack of a regular headphone jack? I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, well, how are you gonna listen to headphones? Well, you could just have the blue head Bluetooth headphones. And you don't have to have Apple's Bluetooth headphones and then just use the charger as a charger. I'm not sure I'd want to fork out 160 bucks for these ugly headphones that stick out of your, ears like giant q-tips if you're not able to see them what these things are they're like these long white things are sticking out of your ears it just looks all kinds of wrong and 160 bucks there's nothing holding them in really i'd be worried that they would you know fall out i mean i have enough trouble keeping earbuds in that have wires on them as it is never mind wireless ones i'm just not so convinced i'd want to spend 160 dollars when you could probably spend half that and get a fairly decent pair of bluetooth headphones apple says the the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is outdated i don't know about that there's a lot of you know music industry still using that jack for certain things it's not the end of the world um but you know it is what it is it's they can't change it so if you decide to get that new phone that's just something you're gonna have to um, you know adapt to so I know a lot of the sighted folks are all excited about the camera with partial vision and having some functional vision you know I do take actually a lot of photos more than probably some sighted people because I look at the details in the photos that I can't see in real life. I actually see them better in the photos on my computer and whatnot. So the, the camera stuff is kind of cool, but I'm really excited about the capacity, the speakers, and not so excited about that headphone jack. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think it's worth the upgrade? Are you gonna hold out? What do you think about the headphone jack thing? Do you think you're better off spending your 1300 bucks on an iPad? What do you think? And as a viewer of my channel, would you like to see me review the iPhone 7 Plus? What I'm contemplating doing, just contemplating mind you, is possibly switching my Note 4 out for the Nexus 6P and then also having an iPhone 7 Plus because they both take the same kind of SIM. They both have a nano SIM. Right now, if I did decide to get another, if I did decide to be like the big tech YouTubers and have like two phones, right now my Note 4 uses a micro SIM 
the iPhones use a nano SIM, so it's not really conducive because here in Canada, you can't have two SIMs with the same phone number. Our phone companies here don't allow that yet. So I would have to have two phone numbers and that is not happening. It's also already a big stretch even to consider having two phones. And this is a huge maybe, um, as I'm sure you know if you've watched my channel, not exactly working right now. So it's kind of crazy to even consider doing this, but it ha it's been something that's been, I've been debating. And now that the stock version of Android now has multitasking like the Samsungs, the only thing that's really holding me to my Samsung is the S Pen, which I'm finding I'm using less and less because my writing totally sucks. <laughs> and uh, the fact that I can talk to my camera to make it take pictures, which I absolutely love, and neither, neither the Nexus or Apple have that feature. So, what do you think? Would you like me to? Would you like it if I was if I showed you start showing uh, you uh, stock Android as opposed to the Samsungized version of Android? Would you like uh, me to review the iPhone uh, 7 Plus? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, I'm not making any promises because the geek in me is really torn. The geek in me wants both phones so I can really explore both stock Android, which I have yet to experience. I've only ever experienced the Samsungized version and uh, also exploring the the iOS side. Now on the other hand, I still have my iPad Air 2, so it's not like I'm not able to explore any of the iOS, but are you happy with me just comparing the iPad versus the Samsung Note 4? Is that a good enough comparison for iOS versus Android for you guys? Or would you like me, would you like more of an even comparison with like the two phones? versus each other going forward. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Here at Circle of the Blind Mice, I believe technology enriches the lives of those of us with visual impairments. My mission is to help you learn tech, use tech, and embrace tech. Please share this video to help spread the word to your fellow blind mice. And if you're new here, please subscribe for new videos every other Saturday. Thanks for watching.